go. Hey guys, Diana Vellante here at the Dragon Gym, sitting down with Master Samna Sikdar, and today we wanted to talk about setting attainable goals. I recently asked my kettlebell students to send me an email and let me know the reasons why they were taking my class. They are stepping away from their families in the evening, their schoolwork, some of their responsibilities, they're spending both time and money with me, and what is it that they want to get out of it? First, I want to thank my students for sending me those emails because a lot of you were very open and honest about why you're coming to see me and I really appreciate it. And now that you've identified your goals, what is it that we can do collectively, me as your instructor and you as the student, in order to achieve them? Master Samnath wrote a great article about it on his blog this week and so I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about how he thinks you should tackle your goals. So having a, a goal is fantastic. That's kind of the first step. But is it really a goal or is it just kind of a hope or a vision of where you want to be? And, you know, I have a kind of very systematic engineering type of approach, imagine that. Um, so, you know, let's, let's break down one of these goals and see, is it a good goal? Uh, and by good, I don't mean worthy, but I mean structured well. And, you know, how can we improve it uh, just with the intention of the goal itself? So if you don't mind, you know, don't name names, but just give me an example of one of the goals that you got this week. Um, one of the people in my class actually said that their main goal was to lose weight and feel better by summertime when they're wearing their shorts, they're going to the beach, they're taking their family vacations. So I'm going to paraphrase the goal, and it's something that we hear a lot, and there's ways that it can be improved upon, right? So kettlebell students, martial arts students, so often... The goal is, I want to lose weight. Fantastic. It's a very worthy goal, but I would say it's not a good one. What do I mean by that? What does that mean? I want to lose weight. I don't know. I don't know what it means. So I can't help you, nor can you make a workable plan, a workable plan to achieve that goal. So instead of saying, I want to lose weight, I want to lose, let's say, 10 pounds. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. But still, what does 10 pounds mean? I need to know where you're at. Or if it's a goal for me, I need to know where I'm at. Okay, so if I'll give two examples, right? Somebody that is highly deconditioned and, and really overweight, losing 10 pounds is very realistic. It's very realistic. Probably their goal could be even higher. A higher number of pounds. Um, you know, if they're 50 pounds overweight, 10 pounds is a good incremental goal, but maybe their goal should be a little bit bigger. Conversely, you take somebody that is highly conditioned and they're already in a, uh, a fairly low body fat uh, state. Losing 10 pounds is actually pretty unrealistic. If you're at you know 12 percent body fat and you want to get to single digits. 10 pounds might be too much weight to lose. So, you know, we got to have something, a realistic number, uh, something that we can measure. Weight loss is a great thing because you can measure it. You, know, you step on the scale and you see how you're doing. But we need to take an uh, objective look at where we are first. I call that a baseline, right? So I need that baseline of how much you weigh and what kind of condition you're in. Then we can attach a number. So we've, we've taken the baseline, you know, right now you're 200 pounds and you want to cut down to 190, I want to lose 10 pounds. Pretty good so far, but not great. We need a couple more things, right? One is some sort of time line, time sensitivity, right? I want to lose 10 pounds. When do you want to lose 10 pounds? You want to lose 10 pounds in a day? It's not healthy. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lose 10 pounds in a year? Maybe too long. I want to lose 10 pounds in three to six months, all right, now we're getting better. Now we have some deadlines. Now we can create some accountability and urgency when we need that. Finally, this is more of a psychological thing than a practical thing, but rephrase your statements. It's not, I want to lose 10 pounds in six months. It is, I intend to lose 10 pounds in six months.